Pop star Michael Jackson surrendered today to authorities in California where he faces charges of child molestation. Shortly after he was fingerprinted and photographed, the singer released a statement saying, Lies run sprints, but the truth runs marathons. The truth will win this marathon in court. ABC's Brian Rooney has more now from Santa Barbara. Early this afternoon, Michael Jackson got out of a car behind the Santa Barbara County Jail in handcuffs. His lawyer said the singer is enraged. Uh, he considers this to be a big lie. He understands the people who are outraged because if these charges were true, I assure you Michael would be the first to be outraged. Jackson had arrived on a private jet from Las Vegas. The plane rolled its nose into a hangar where Jackson got into a waiting car out of view of television cameras. He was taken into custody there at the airport. Jackson had his mugshot taken and he was fingerprinted here at the county jail before he posted a three million dollar bond. While this was happening, the entertainer's brother Jermaine called CNN. And we will stand up and everybody that know this family around the world will support us because at the end of the day, this is nothing but a modern day lynching. This is what they want to see. Him in handcuffs. You got it. But it won't be for long. I promise you. ABC News has learned that the child making the complaint is a 12-year-old boy who met Jackson while he was doing charity work three years ago. The boy visited Jackson at the Neverland Ranch, and according to one source, he told a psychotherapist that on two occasions, Jackson gave him wine and sleeping pills. And if it's discovered that, in that, that that boy was in any way drugged in order to achieve the acts, that carries with it a, a life enhancement. That could mean life in prison. And cases like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some detail the incident, and that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave a wave when he was released after booking. He's scheduled for arraignment in January. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Santa Barbara, California.